What's up everybody? I'm Ian Gilmore. This is your first team report. We start off a very exciting two game week tonight. The men kick things off for midweek action against Charleston Battery back home 7 p.m. kickoff and our women's side is into the W League semifinals after a 3-0 win over Flint City AFC on Thursday and a 1-0 win over Minnesota Aurora on Saturday to avenge last year's playoff loss they are into the national semis so let's chat with a couple of players the one with the game winning assist Grace Barr the one with the game winning goal and Mrs. Sports Center top 10 herself Sam Dewey yeah I was ecstatic um, I was excited you know for our team for the girls um, it's a huge feat and I think it just shows uh, that Indy can compete and I think it's huge for the city um, and you know I was relieved I mean we were we were packed in a little bit at the end so um, Maddie and I were on the sideline you know after putting our shift in watching the other girls go to work and just defend their butts off so he had bodies flying around everywhere and we just like looked at each other and we were like bro we want this like this is just effort pure effort so um, I, I was ecstatic. I was super happy, um, and yeah, just glad, just glad to get out of there with a win. <laughs> really happy to be able to dump some water on Polly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's he's awesome, and he he's done a lot for this team, and uh, so I could tell he he was geeked, and I think the girls were too. So I think uh, getting to getting to do the old water and Gatorade dump was was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think Saturday it was amazing because honestly it was chippy, it was dirty, it was like two dogs in a, in a battle and I think what really came out is that they're a great team um, and we're a great team too so it was really testing us as individuals um, but as teammates and as a collective whole as well and I mean I don't want to say revenge tour um, but it's about as good and as gratifying as it can be. It's amazing to be at home I mean the fans for the BYB and for Indy are just incredible I think to have it at home holds a special place in our heart because we want to defend this field I mean we lost our only regular season game and our only home game ever this year and I think we want to come back and prove hey that was a fluke um, we're here to defend this like um, like it's nobody's business essentially um, I think to get the job done it's gonna have to be all 11 players on the field and then whoever's dressed as well it's not just who scores goals. It's not just who saves goals. It's the encouragement from the sideline. It's the coaches challenging us. It's us challenging each other to do more, um, to be more even when we think we've had enough. So it'll be a great test, um, team from the West Coast coming here. So I'm ready, I'm pumped. Family's coming for the first time um, in two years. So I'm, I'm ready to play. Huge, it's massive. Uh, I'm so stoked. Um, like I said, it, it's huge for the city. Uh, I think the fans are gonna be rocking. We're gonna be geeking, we're gonna be ready to go. So. Um, I think it's it's better for the, the local girls that, you know, wouldn't oftentimes get to travel. So uh, there's strength in numbers for sure. So uh, I'm, I'm excited to see the turnout and I know we're going to show up and be ready to play. Yeah, it's got to be all 11 players, kind of like what Grace was saying. Um, the togetherness has to be there. Uh, like I said, I think putting in shifts, uh, it's been a collective group effort, I think, throughout the entire summer. So again, I think it's going to be huge. and. You know, I think we do. We play our best when we're, we're focused on us, and uh, you know, we're we're playing the way that we want to play, and uh, not letting the other team, you know, dictate how the game's going. So I think setting the tempo right away from the beginning, you know, manipulating the game how we want to, and taking a bit of control uh, early on is is going to be huge. All right, guys, we need you to pack Grand Park this Friday. Tickets are already available in slash tickets but I will suggest trying to get them before the day as we will only have a certain amount available. Plus, if you do buy a ticket to tonight's men's game, you'll get a free ticket to the women's game on Friday as well. So make sure you're at Carroll tonight to start things off. And speaking of that, the lads are back at Carroll tonight, a midweek matchup against the Charleston Battery. I mean, they're, they're a decent team. They, um, they play with a lot of intensity, a lot of heart, a lot of industry. Um, they attack with some good numbers. They throw a lot of people forward when they attack. They can counter attack well. Um, so they're, 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 a, they're, a, they're a dangerous team. Um, we're aware of their threats. Um, their coaches play with the 4-2-3-1 for a while now. We did it in Memphis, so very similar way of playing. So we're familiar with kind of the rotations in wide areas, how they, how they want to attack, playing through the sixes, kind of going, you know, switching it from one side to the other. Um, but we're ready for all that stuff now. We've got to execute on the plan, right? So we have the plan. We understand what they're going to do. We're very clear on what we need to do. Um, can we execute now in terms of neutralizing their threats? Guys making, you know, the right decision, the right moment defensively. Um, and then when we get our chances, which we will get, um, 
in the attacking third and in their box that were executing on those those touches and those passes, those crosses, those shots. Um, it comes down to now executing and carrying out the plan um, because we've been in control of most, if not all, games this season. Um, but it hasn't always led to the to the right result. Kickoff is our usual 7 p.m. time tonight, but we are opening the gates early. So 5.30 p.m. you can get into the venue. So if you're already downtown, why don't you just stick around, take in some midweek footy. Also want to give a shout out to Aiden Quinn, who hit the 50 goal mark in his USL regular season career against San Diego. Aiden is also quickly approaching the 20,000 minute mark, and he would be just the second player in league history to do that. So good luck, Aiden. That's it for this week's First Team Report. We'll see you next time. Let's make it a six-point week.